Good day. Today, we will be discussing about the Wallis formula. This Wallis formula was invented way, way back dating dati pa. May panahon pa ng kopong-kopong. Hindi pa invented ang calculator. So, paano ba mag-integrate ng mga trigonometric problems kapag wala kang calcium? So, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano. This is the Wallis formula. Where the integration or the integral of sine raised to mx cosine raised to nx dx from 0 to pi over 2. Where m, n is an element of the natural numbers. To better appreciate that, let's have these cases, following cases. So, ito yung formula natin. Tama? Cases in using the formula. Case 1 is where m and n, if at least one of them is an odd number. Ito ang formula. m minus 1 factorial, double factorial rather, times n minus 1 double factorial, divided by m plus n, Double factorial. Sir, ang alam ko po, factorial lang. Yung isang ganta lang, sir. Oh. Isang, yan, pagalit, pagalit o padamdam. Okay, factorial na rin. N factorial. Okay? Halimbawa, meron kang 6 factorial. That is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Kapag naman, the noble factorial mo yan, this will become increment of 2. That is 6 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2. Dapat mag end ka si, sa either 2 or 1. Dito ka mag end sa dalawang to. Okay, halimbawa, Meron kang 5 double factorial, that is 5 times 3 times 1. Okay, malinaw na na sa atin ang double factorial. Case number 2, where M and N are both even. This is your formula. M, that is pi over 2, pi over 2. Multiplied by m minus 1 double factorial times n minus 1 double factorial over m plus n double factorial. Itandaan nyo ha? Let's try that in a example. In an example. First example. The integral of sine raised to 4x cosine 5x cosine raised to 5x dx from 0 to 5 over 2. Ang una nating step dyan, identify muna natin if ano ba ang case to. Ang m mo ay 4, this is your m, ang n mo ay 5. So, that is case 1 kasi at least isa sa kanila ay add number. That is m minus 1 double factorial times n minus 1 double factorial all over m plus n double factorial. This is, so m natin na 4, 4 minus 1 double factorial, and then 5 minus 1 double factorial all over. That is 4 plus 5 double factorial. Limbawa sa exam, wala kayong calcium. Pinagbawalan kayong mag -calcium. This 4 minus 1, this is a 3. 5 minus 1, this is 4. So, that is double factorial. 3. So, 3 times 1 times 
4 times 2 over. So, that is, ito naman, 9 to. Okay? Ang 9 double factorial, that is 9 times 2. Sorry, 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 and then times 2. Sorry, this is double factorial nga pala, no? Sir naman. Okay, this is, okay? At least alam ninyo kung nasa tama na das ba kayo. Okay? Makikita ninyo double factorial tas ang increment nyo isa lang. Okay? Dapat dalawa rin. 9 times 7 times 5 times 3 and then times 1. Next nyan. Okay? Wala nga kayong calcule. Okay? Gagawa nyo ng paraan. Paano ninyo masosolve to? Okay? Itong 3 na to tas itong 3 na to pwede mag-cancel. May pwede pa ba tayo cancel? Tingin ko wala na. Itong 1, ganun din yan, guys. Kapag kayan ay kinansin, para minultiply mo lang yan din sa 1 over 1. Sige, cancel natin. This is even. And this is puro mga add. Okay? I-multiply na natin siya ng mano-mano. 4 times 2, that is 8. And then, 9 times 7, that is 63. Times 5, that is 300. 50. Therefore, ang integral ng sine raised to 4, x cosine raised to 5x dx from 0 to pi over 2, that is 8 over 350. Nakuha ninyo? Okay, mabuti. Next, pangalawa. The integral of sine raised to 6x cosine 8 raised to x dx from 0 to pi over 2. Okay. Uy, 6 tsaka 8. So, identify muna natin. This is your m. This is your n. It's 8. Therefore, kung parehas silang even, case number 2 yan. M and N, both are even. So, pi over 2 multiplied by M minus 1, double factorial, N minus 1, double factorial, all over M plus N, double factorial. This will become pi over 2, over, so, fraction na yan. That is M minus 1, 6 minus 1, that is 5. Double factorial. Ang n minus 1, 8 minus 1, that is 7. Double factorial. m plus n, 6 plus 8, that is 14. 14 double factorial. Okay, class. Huwag yung gagawin to ha. Nakakatawa pero baka may gumawa. Kung 7 na yan, tas itong 14, sir, mas madali buhay na ito eh. Okay? Ang gagawin ko, ang gagawin ko sir, yan. Okay, cancel. Magiging... 7 factorial, laging 5 factorial over 2 factorial. Wala na akong problema sa 7. C, kinancel ko rin naman. Okay, class hindi ganun yan. Okay, maling-mali po yung gagawin nyo na yan. Okay? okay, gawin natin yung tama. This will become pi over 2. Yung 5 natin, that is 5 times 3 times 1. Ang 7 double factorial, that is 7 times 5 times 3 times 1. And then, yung 14 factorial natin, that is 14 times 12 times 10 times 8 times 6 times 4 times 2. And then, here comes the challenge. Mag-cancel, cancel na tayo. Ano kayo pwede ma-cancel? Meron kaya? Okay, sige. Cancel natin tong 5, tapos itong 10. Matitira dito, dalawa. Cancel natin yung 3, tapos itong 6, may matitira ang dalawa. Cancel din natin yung isang 3 dito, tapos itong 12, may matitira dito ang 4. Cancel natin yung 7, tapos itong 14. 
may matitira dito dalawa. Meron pa ba? Meron pa ba? I think wala na. Okay, let's multiply it okay, further. This is pi over 2. Yung nasa taas, that is 5 times 1 times 1. That is just, okay, that is just 5. Over 2 times 4, that is 8 times 2. 16 times 8, 32 times 2, that is 64. And then 64 times 4 times 2, that is 2048. That is 2048. Then let's simplify 5 times pi, 5 pi, over 2 times 2048, that is 4096. And that is your final answer. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it fantastic? Okay. Super dali lang. Sir, lagi bang pi over 2 yan? E, tingnan natin sa next situation, paano kapag hindi na pi over 2? Halimbawa, naging pi over 6. Next example. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. Dx. Integral nun from 0 to pi over 6. Ganito ang gagawin ninyo. Dapat, mapupunta nyo siya sa form na 0 from 0 to pi over 2. That can tayo ang itsura nyo. And, paano natin siya mapupunta sa ganyang expression or itsura? Itong 3x, punin mo yung coefficient. That is numerical coefficient. That is 3. Multiply. I-multiply mo siya dun sa, yan, yung upper boundary. Pi over 6. 3 times pi over 6, that is 2. Or pi over 2. Therefore, ito pala ay cosine, eight, cosine raised to 8. Itong 3x, mawawala na yung 3 dyan. Magiging just x na lang yan. From 0 to this is pi over 2. Okay, pwede pala yun, sir. Ngayon, let's now list kung sino si M, sino si N. Si M, kay sign lang po yun. Therefore, wala kang sign. Therefore, wala kang M. Sa N, okay, meron kang cosine. Therefore, ano to ang power niya? This is 8. Anong case kaya to? This is... Case number 2, wherein lahat sila ay even. So, M is 0, N is even. This is our formula. Pi over 2, then multiplied by M minus 1 double factorial, times N minus 1 double factorial, all over M plus N double factorial. This will become pi over 2. Ang m natin, that is 0. 0 minus 1. Okay, huwag nyo na pumukonsinin yun. Okay, wala tayong m. So, walang m dyan. 0 yan. And then, n na lang yung matitira. Kasi siya lang meron. That is 8 minus 1 double factorial over m natin ay 0 plus 8 double factorial. And then, itong, ito nga pala plus na 3. Ito pala 3 dito, ilalabas natin yan magiging yung reciprocal niya. That is 1 third. This is, this should be 1 third. Then, this also should be 1 over 3. And then, so kung nilabas natin yung 3 dyan, Ang mangyayari dyan, may ilalabas tayong reciprocal niya, 1 over 3. Okay? And then, this will become pi. This is 7. And this is 8. This will become 7 multiplied by 7. Pi multiplied by 7 times 5 times 3 times 1. Then, this will become 3 times 2. 
is yisayaan natin, 3 times 2, times yung 8 natin, that is 8 times 6 times 4 times 2. Then, cancel, cancel. Cancel itong 3, tsaka 6, may matitira dalawa. Ano pa pwede natin i-cancel? Hmm, I think wala na. So, let's simplify further. Pi times 7 times 5, that is 35 pi. Okay? 3 times 2, that is 6 times 8, 48 times 2, that is 96. Okay? 96 times 4, that is 384. 384 times 2, that is 768. Therefore, your answer is 35 pi over 768. That's it. Kung may tanong, comment down below. Okay? Kung di pa kayo nakasubscribe, kindly subscribe and hit the like button and the ring button para updated kayo sa susunod nating mga vlog, mga lesson. Kung wala nang tanong, okay? Bye-bye.